Hello, welcome to Makers TV. This episode is all about how to get your head into the game when you're feeling unmotivated. And I tell you what, before this episode, and today in general, I'm like, <sighs> wasn't real keen. Uh, and I have, I have, I did something. I have something that I do that I wanted to share with you guys to, um, yeah, just I have a tip to give to you to help you get your head in the game when you're feeling a bit sleepy or unmotivated, um, when you know that you have work to do. So welcome. I'm Michaela Danvers. I'm from the Makers Collective. This is Makers TV and we are up to episode number 39. And as I said, we're talking about motivation and what we do, what can we do to actually get our head in the game? So I have had a few people recently on my Facebook group um, talking about, like I've been asking what the biggest problem is, and they've often been saying motivation after time. Everyone's number one thing is time. But after that, people are saying motivation. So when they actually have the time, they're not motivated enough to then do any business tasks or work on their business or even, you know, create things. So sewing or, you know, making the jewelry, whatever. They're just not sure how they can then move forward because they're just tired or they just don't feel like it or they're just kind of in a bit of a blah mood and they'd rather, you know, watch TV or there's like cleaning to be done in the house or whatever. So this is a real problem because, uh, you know, a lot of the time we do have limited a limited amount of hours that we can actually work on our business. So we really, really want to be using that time wisely. Um, there is a small caveat here. I don't want to sort of say that we have to be working all the time, all the time, all the time and putting so much pressure on ourselves to get a certain amount of things done in a day. But you do want to get to the end of the day, especially if you've had only a couple of hours to work on your business feeling like you've accomplished something, you know, it might not be that you've accomplished the 20 things on your list, but it might be that you have, you know, moved forward in your business somewhat. So my biggest tip for how to overcome this feeling of being unmotivated is to actually do a warm up. And this has come out of, um, I've been playing sport all my life since I was little, like ten, nine, nine or 10 years old, I've been playing soccer. And I sort of, um, you know, that's a, that's a long time. It's over 20 years now. But I've sort of only just realized really recently um, how important the warm up is, not just for our bodies. The truck is going past and getting the rubbish. Sorry about that. Not just for our bodies, but also for our minds and how quickly we then switch on in a game. So as an example, um, you know, I play outdoor soccer, but I also play futsal. And in our futsal games, all last, like last season, we kind of would show up only a few minutes beforehand and um, we wouldn't warm up and it would take us like a good few minutes to actually sort of get our heads in the game. And then a similar thing would happen with our outdoor team, we would train, sorry, we would, yeah, train during the week and then we'd do a warm up, but then we'd kind of like switch off for a little bit right before the game. And then when we started, it would take us a good 20 minutes to really switch on again. Mind you, we won the grand final, so we were good, (laughs) but it just would take that time to actually switch our brains on. Everyone was you know, doing the right things. We were, we were warm in our bodies. Our muscles were warm and we could run and we could kick, but we weren't connecting. So we weren't connecting passes. We weren't thinking. We just weren't switched on in the game. And so that coupled with uh, listening to a few different podcasts and doing a little bit of research into it, I sort of have like realized it's so obvious now, but we also need to do the same for our brains when we're wanting to do a certain type of task in our business. So basically what I do is if I know that I'm doing a certain type of task, I will do a warm up for my brain beforehand. So for these videos, for example, instead of just turning the camera straight on and like trying to talk off the top of my head, which I do a lot of the time, and um, but feeling like really low and flat and doing it and knowing that that recording would be rubbish, I do a warm up. So that can be a few different things. Uh, It could be looking at other people's YouTube videos 
And now this is a little bit of a dangerous one because you don't want to get sucked in <laughs> to just looking at other videos for three hours and not, again, not get anything done. So I think it's really important to set an actual time frame for your warm up, which is what you do in sport. You warm up for 30 to 45 minutes. You don't warm up for three hours before the game because then you'll be exhausted for the game. So you set a set time limit. And it might be watching other people's videos. It might be reading about the topic that you're about to talk about. In terms of making, it might be going onto Instagram and looking at one of your um, idols or even your competitors and seeing the great stuff that they're doing. And that might get you inspired and motivated to then work on your line. It might be doing a little class or learning something. So if you're signed up to Skillshare or Linda.com or if you're enrolled in something like the Makers Academy, do a lesson first, get inspired, and then do your work. Um, if it's something super boring, well, I find boring. Some people really love it. But if it's boring, if it's something that you find boring and something that I find boring is like accounting and financial stuff, um, think of, come up with something that will get you a little bit more excited to do that sort of thing. So for me, it might be um imagining, so doing a little bit of a visualization about the future and future income that I want to bring in. And then I know that to make that happen, I'm going to have to do this financial task now. So you can do all sorts of things to warm up your brain and just get you like into whatever task that you're going to, going to be doing. So that's pretty much it for my tip. It's it's just a warm up. Um, really, it's as I said, it's not just about warming up your body. It's about warming up your mind. So even if that means um, it might not even be related to the task that you're about to do, I'd say that more often than not, it should be related somehow because you want to get your brain sort of in into that mind frame of doing that set task. Um, but it's really about kind of getting inspired beforehand by taking information in from somewhere else instead of just sort of like, you know, you kind of starting from a blank slate in doing this task and you, you're trying to draw your motivation from yourself when you're perhaps empty of inspiration. So, or like empty of, um, you know, your vision for the future or something. So you need to be able to fill yourself up with stuff first in order to then get motivated to do the task. So if you, yeah, it could be you do a visualization of your business, get really excited about the future, then that will be inspiring you and then that will turn into motivation. It could be looking at other people and getting inspired by them, filling up your own sort of, you know, reserves of inspiration basically to then turn that into motivation to want to succeed in your business and then you'll be excited, more excited to sit down and do the task that you want to do. So that's it for this week. Thank you so much for joining. And if you found this helpful, please feel free to share with your friends. Um, even if you want to share with your like family or network, someone, someone in your network might find this valuable also. Um, and it's all about creating this community to build each other up and push each other forward so we can all succeed in business. So thank you again so much. And you'll see me next week for some more great tips. See ya.